Take five. I gotta take this phone call real quick. All right. Yeah. It's me. Dina wanted me to remind you that she has a game this week and um, she wants you to come. You haven't seen her play yet. Well, I'm gonna have to catch the next one. This week is kind of busy for me right now. Busy, huh? I'll let your daughter know. Look, it's too early in the morning for this, Chris. Please. I don't, don't want to hear you tripping right now. You do have kids, remember? God, why? Oh. Look, I told Dana I would remind you about her game, and she wants you to be there. Yeah, all right. What's going on with Ricky? You should call him. You want a cell number? Cell number? When do you get the cell phone? Fourth birthday. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Hey, look, I got to get back to the studio, so just text me a telephone number and I'll get back with him. Okay, I'm busy too, but don't you think we should talk? Hello? Hello? So you got an attitude and you nappy, huh? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> and you know I had to take off of this. Why didn't you just come after work? I wasn't about to go to work looking like this. Mm. Anyway, what was so important that you had to reschedule all your weekend appointments? Girl, Tremaine called me and was like, I got big news for you tonight. Fine as he is, he didn't have to ask me twice. Now, I've been your most loyal customer for the past 12 years and your best friend for 15. And you gonna put me and my hair situation on hold for some new man? Oh, Chris, I can't wait for you to meet him, though. He took me to Zanzibar. Dinner was so romantic. Uh, so what's the big news? He wants me to move in with him. Are you serious? Kim, move in with him? Yes. That's not the question. Oh, come on. And I know you told him no. I know you told him no. I think I, I think I'm in love with him. How long have you even known this man? Four months, but. But the, you don't even know him. Come on. What do you do for a living? Some kind of sales. I don't know specifically. I know he has to travel every few weeks and he makes good money. He wants to invest in my shop. He gonna spoil me. I can't believe you're going down this path. You know better. That man ain't trying to marry you. He just wants the goodies for free. He ain't no good. Whatever. Since when did you become the jury on how to find a good man? Oh, Chris, I, I'm sorry. I, I wasn't thinking. I didn't mean You're right. that. You're right. It's okay. No, I'm sorry. You're right. I'm so sorry. You were just looking out for me, and I need that. I'm sorry. So, how are you really doing? I feel like I'm living somebody else's life. Like any minute I could wake up and realize I've been dreaming. Oh. How long has it been? Eight months. Have you talked to him lately? He acts like nothing's wrong. He hasn't given me any explanation. I don't even know what I did. You think he's cheating? I don't know. Mm. 
he hasn't touched me in almost a year. Well, maybe you should get somebody else. You know, move on. Forget him. Okay, okay. How's Miss Dina? She still playing volleyball? Yeah, she's good. <laughs> You know what she said the other day? What's that? She said, Mama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we gonna make it through this even if I have to get a job. Mm. Right, now that's my 12 year old talking. Wrong. Talking like a woman. She's sensible, you know, like you. Yeah, I know. What about Ricky? Now that's a whole nother story. Uh oh. Apparently his daddy told him that I kicked him out. So now he's blaming me for it. What? I remember he used to be so sweet. You would bring him in the shop when he was little, right? He'd have a little raggedy dandelion. <laughs> Auntie Kiki, I bought you some flowers. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Mm -hmm. But that boy done lost his mind. Is that all I get is a hey, ma? Ricky, why is they shot his car out here? I told you I don't want you hanging with him. Where do you think you're going? I'll be back. Uh-uh, you're not going with him. That boy just got out of jail. You want to end up in jail, too? Sick of you treat me like a baby. Hey, Mama. Hey, Ricky. They shot his car outside. You know you're not supposed to hang out with them. Shut up, Dina. Dina, go to your room while I talk to your brother. Can I watch TV? For an hour, but I want that homework done before dinner. Okay, what are we having? Your favorite. Yes. Well, you've been acting real strange lately. I don't know what's gotten into your head. Is this about to be a sermon? Because I don't want to hear it. Well, you need to listen. How many times have we been through this? You can't walk around here and make your own rules. Why are you always trying to hold me down, Ma? Why don't you ever let me grow up? I want to see you grow up. Get a good job and do something positive with your life. I pray every day that you and Dina are protected from all this craziness out here. Here we go with that prayer stuff. Excuse me? You better watch your mouth. You always talking about praying now. God gonna keep us. How come God didn't keep my dad from leaving? Did you pray about that? What? Where's all this coming from, Ricky? Life is all about choices, and that's what I need you to understand. We make mistakes, and some of us pay more than we can ever imagine. I tried to work it out with your father. But it's all his fault, right? Don't talk about my dad. That's why he left you. You were always judging him. You made him feel like a criminal because he didn't want to go to church all the time. And now you're judging me. Ricky, watch your mouth. I can talk about more. I don't even want to be here. I'm going to go live with my dad. You ain't going nowhere to you. your room. And that's where you're going to stay. Oh! I'm going to hurt this boy. <sighs> hey, Dad. Can I call you back? Hey, what's going on? I'm just having the worst day. I just need a minute. I've been thinking about you today. Praying for you. I'm praying too. Just doesn't seem like God's answer our prayers today. Well, you know what to do when you finish praying, don't you? What? Keep on praying. He will answer. You believe that, don't you? Yeah, I do. Okay. Call me back later. I will. <sighs> Lord. Jesus, help me. I'm losing my home. My husband. My son. Ricky, he needs his dad. 
I need them too. This is too much for me. I can't take much more. Please give me strength, Lord. Please give me strength. What do you do when all options are improbable? Where do you turn when all roads are impassable? When the water's rising up to your neck And you've gone too far, there's no turning back you say, how did I get here? And how long will I stay here? Bobby? I see my keys still work. I'll have those changed tomorrow. You want something to drink? Yeah, a bottle of water be cool. Of course. So what are you doing here? Well, I came by to pick up some of my tools. Figured while I was here, I'd get a chance to see the kids. Your son? I could have strangled that boy today. He told me he hated me. He knows better than that. Oh, really? Well, he also made it clear that he blames me for you leaving. Look, I'll talk to him. Where is he? He's in his room. But you and I need to talk. Chris, about what? Are you serious? Daddy! <laughs> hey, baby. Mm. How are you? I missed you, Daddy. Did Mommy tell you about my game? Yeah, she did. She did. Well, you're going to come and see me play, right? Of course. I wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> Zena, go tell your brother to come here, please. OK, Mommy. Look, you cannot keep ignoring me. I'm still your wife. How long are you gonna keep He's going? He's not in his room, Mama. What? He left. What you mean he left? He left. Keep on praying, keep on believing. He will answer, he will answer. Keep on waiting, keep on trusting. He will answer, he will answer. Keep on waiting, keep on trusting. 